brief overview. Uh, since it's the first time since uh, Saturday night, I think the the big thing is 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 there's there's two cups there. There's a cup uh, that that has some very positive things in in it. Uh, very good effort, uh, playing relentless. Uh, third down, obviously 87% success rate on third down when there's f 15 of them is uh, is hard to do, and uh, so that was uh, that was progress. Uh, I, I don't. You can take this two-sided. Number one is you shouldn't let them in the red zone, but if they do get in the red zone and take 16 snaps. Uh, I think it does show that we're starting to develop the fighting spirit that we need to have because they defended the goal line inside the inside the red zone, 16 snaps, and uh, and and gave it one touchdown, which is not acceptable by our standards. But it 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 does indicate that that the guys have have bought into the process. They're trying to fight. Uh, we uh, in the in the passing game. We we had uh, a couple a couple of uh, not issues because they were not bust. We didn't we didn't have that, uh, but we uh, you know they 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 called 47 passes, completed 20 of them uh, for 5.5 yards per attempt. Uh, I mean for per call pass, which that's that's a good number. Uh, so we're making some progress in that regard. Now as far as uh, run defense. Uh, that was it's not acceptable it's not to our standard um, and it, it will be corrected and corrected immediately uh, and so I, I think uh, the, the the thing that we've got is we've got guys that have bought into the process they understand the process uh, we just got to we've got to develop more of a sense of urgency to on Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday to sharpen the axe uh, so that uh, when we do go to chop down the tree, that we're not doing so, – we're just knocking the bark and bruising the tree and getting real tired. Uh, we, we, we've got to get that done to where the process is, is – is, we've got to get more honed up in our, in our skill to develop uh, the ability to hone that process up in the week so that we can, uh, we can come out uh, – with the, with the kind of with the kind of production that we want, so we're making progress, but we've got a long way to go, uh, and it is a work in progress. But I think probably the thing that that their attitude has been and is uh, very good, and, and as long as we got that, then as coaches we got to help them. We got to get better. Yeah. But you have success otherwise. Yeah, we 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 uh, we obviously were doing something right to create 15 third downs. Uh, we, there's like I said, when you watch the film, uh, there's some really really good plays on there, uh, some good run fits, some good tackling. I, I think probably when you the culprit of of that particular play was a total misfit, a miscommunication. Uh, and, and and that's just it's that that falls on us as coaches to get that corrected, uh, but it also falls on them to make sure that they're paying attention to the process uh, and and problem solving when something like that happens. Uh, as far as the how we've done for the three games, is we have made progress in the run game, but when you look at it the totality, it's 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 not. It's not to the standard that we've got to have in the SEC. It's just not. Right. Well, I think that's a great 
great question, I and mean, it, it really is. But in the defensive room, uh, part of the process that we've tried to establish from the very beginning is that, you know, our job is, if, if we were firemen, our job isn't to worry about who started the fire, okay? It, 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 how long it's been burning is to put the fire out. And so we really have to focus on that, and it has to be that kind of mentality. Uh, and, and we've got to develop that kind of mentality. Uh, so that it's because you, you control, we control the run game, the pass game, and getting off the field on third down and creating turnovers. That's what we control. So that's where our focus is. You obviously last year saw Leonard Fournette plenty, and then what he did against Auburn last year. Uh, it's a special back. What do you got to do to, to slow him down? Well, I, obviously, he's a very talented young man. Um, and, and but it, it still goes back to what you've heard me say before. Um, you you got to be very careful, and we're not built this way. I, I, we're about it's what we do, it's how we line up, it's controlling our gap. We're not going to ask them, anybody out there to take more than one zone, one man, one gap. Do your job, uh, and, and that's a, that's that's every week, that's every play. Well, I, I've got a couple more years, a couple more times of experience of it than than most, and that uh, I've I've done it before, and and quite frankly, it really has very little effect on it. it really does. With the pass rush, um, Trevor Knight's and his mobility that kind of play into sort of not finishing some of those. You know, well, he did, you know, he called 47 and completed 20 of them. So, obviously, uh, we, we had – we affected the quarterback. Uh, if, you, if you call 47 and complete 20 of them, then you've affected the quarterback uh, in, in some way. Now, the thing is, is that's always measured publicly on how many times did you sack him. And, and, and obviously, all of us like to get sacks. But it's also how many times did you make him change his launch point. Uh, how many times did you make him throw it quicker than he wanted to throw it? Uh, you know, a great example is uh, early in the game, Trey ran through the un unscathed, was in his face. He's backpedaling. It's a third down play. He turns it loose. It's incomplete. Well, that wasn't a sack, but we're off the field, and, you know, he had to, he had to turn that thing loose a lot quicker than he wanted to. Uh, and, and so that's that's a major part of it as, as far as for a coach is change the line's point, affect him, make him move around, make him throw it when he doesn't want to throw it, uh, distort what he's seeing. Uh, and then the sacks will come if we just keep relentlessly rushing the passer. How impressed have you been with, with that length that they made in the quarterback? Uh, Pardon me? Well, we're, we're so early in the process. I'd like to tell you that, you know, it, it's been less than, well, 18 hours after I got home from last night's game. Had to evaluate last night's game. We've had a practice. Uh, had not had a lot of film watching, very minimal. Uh, so I hadn't, hadn't got to that to its nth degree. Uh, he was the, the scout team quarterback last year, so I, I was around him every day. Uh, I, I do know him. But I don't think that has any bearing on how he'll play or how we'll defend him. And you don't scheme up necessarily. If you know the young guys and see him a lot, you'll try to trick him with eye candy or disguising shells or something like that? That's a good question, but I really wouldn't tell anybody in the media the answer. Yeah, how did Trey Matthews create out? Was there a couple of plays that people kind of cherry picked, in particular the, the Noyle catch down the sideline where he appeared to miss him and on the run? He actually played he graded out in totality. You know, he, he played a good game. Uh, but it, I'm speaking for the whole defense. We missed way too many tackles. Uh, it, it just – we can't – we cannot play like that. And we're going to get that corrected immediately. And it's unacceptable.
ask that because, like, how has how is Byron played this year? Because Steve Ramblin's three games has made, like, two total passes. Right. How do you have to think he's played? Uh, he, he's progressing. I mean, he's, he's getting significant snaps in, in crucial parts of the game, and he's, he's progressing. Well, that uh, that is a discussion that was had today, both uh, by the staff and uh, in, in the defensive room. It is something that we've got to create more turnovers. Uh, now, obviously, you, you got to they're, they're not going to give it to you. You, you got to be in the right place at the right time, but you got to go with the mentality to make that happen. I think where you can probably make it happen quicker than any is when the ball's being carried and we're, we're in a tackle mode, your second man in, stripping the ball out, you know, interceptions, uh, it, 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 it may or may not happen, you know, because uh, sometimes those incomplete passes are uncatchable by both parties. Uh, and so, it, but the, when you're tackling, that, that it, we've got to do a better job of that, and that's something we talked extensively about today, of uh, ripping the ball out, getting turnovers, creating scoring opportunities, scoring ourselves. Well, we had one the other night laying on the ground in front of us. And, uh, you know, we got two guys there, and they got one guy there, and they got it. Uh, but uh, we, we've got to create more. It's not something that we don't work on. We do work on it. But we've got to do a better job of it. We've got to. We've, we, we, we very much need to be uh, a more opportunistic defense in terms of creating turnovers. I'm sure you just stress the players. It changes the function of the game completely. Absolutely. And it gets you off the field, and that's your job. Pardon me? Did you know Jabari's good hit like that? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he, they don't, they, he's not a guy that shies away from contact. Yeah, obviously, from a mentality standpoint, you know what you're kind of getting at LSU. They're going to get smash mouth down the hill. But it's you know, Darius Geis. They got some other guys, too. What's it like for a defense kind of when you face a team like, like this? Well, again, it goes right back to what I said earlier. It, 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 we're in a, we're in a, a process of creating a mentality and creating an identity, and we can't be focused on who's across the line of scrimmage. That has, you can't get that into that. Uh, otherwise, if you do that, then okay, this week we, they, they decide in their head, we don't have, this guy's not that, and this guy's not that, so here we are down here. Okay, this guy's this, and that guy's that, so here we are up here. You, you can't do that. It's about us. It's about developing a mentality through a process of work in which we do our job each and every snap a certain way with a certain mentality. And uh, if you do that, then that's all you can ask of somebody. Coach, thought this big picture is like philosophically putting, keeping corners to the field or to the boundary regardless of matchup. Because you can look at and see that Carl's matched up against Noyle as opposed and Javar's matched up against Seals Jones size-wise. Well, it's not so much philosophically because we will switch when we can, but when they're in hurry up and you finish the play on that side of the field and you fin finishes on that side of the field and, and they're kind of – you don't know if he's coming in to a minor split or if he's going across the field. So you, you start – you get in a hurry up, you can get two corners on the same side covering one guy. So uh, there's times when we will match up and there's times when we won't. No, we practice that way. We practice that way. I mean, it's practiced, and, and there's certain calls in which there are absolute. We've got to get matched up. Uh, then there's other calls in which, hey, if you're on that side, stay on that side. If you're on the other side, stay on the other side. And then there's some calls where, hey, if you're field, you're field. If you're boundary, you're boundary. You had RGT last year, and he's off to a phenomenal start this year. Just I mean, speak to what kind of player that young man is. He's second in the country with five sacks. Or... Right. Well, he, he's very gifted. He's very serious about the game. And uh, he practices that way. He enjoys it. Uh, you know, he's a very, very talented young man. And this is the first pro style offense. You're kind of seeing a different kind of look. Like you said about a month ago, you were already kind of starting to prepare for the LSU and Arkansas in the world anyway in your preseason camp. Yeah. Kind of help just kind of getting guys. It, it, it helps. Uh, you know, football is, I never thought I'd stand before a group 
the third week of the season and saying, well, we've got a little adjustment to make. We've got to go out there and make sure that we can get lined up against I pro and I slot. I, you know, I never thought I would say that. But uh, that's where the game is. Uh, we have worked on it uh, in the spring. We worked on it in fall camp. Uh, we've actually uh, periodically stole a snap or two early in the week uh, because there are some teams like the other night, they lined up in 12 personnel. The, the I think it was third and two, and they lined up. And the, I think the back went the wrong way, and he had, he threw it away. Well, that was that was the same kind of offense. I mean, same formation we'll see this week. So there there are occasions we can do it. Uh, have we had enough work at it? Not to suit me, but uh, you know, we'll we we got to get it done this week. It's it it, it sounds it's kind of strange, but it almost sounds like back when I was at Nebraska, and we had to play Oklahoma with the wishbone. So you know, and then Georgia Tech. So it was like, okay, take everything you've done, put it over to the side, and now you got to have this game plan. It's almost that different. How do you feel about Carlton Davis' you know, first few games? Well, I, th I think he's bought into the process. Uh, you know, that's a hard job uh, when you're asked to, to take away the best receiver on, on multiple snaps. I think each week he's gotten better and better and better. Uh, so he's, he's – uh, He's, he's bought into the process, and he is working hard to improve and is doing so. Take a few more. You've been around a lot of defensive backs. Do they remind you of anyone, just style-wise? Mm, no, not in particular. I hadn't thought about it. Uh, if you gave me a little bit of time, I might could come up with one. There's a whole bunch of them you're talking about when you said. we got 10 days. I'll ask you next one. Okay, yeah. But you don't see me but once every other week, do you? All right.